Bonjour tout le monde, welcome back to We in France, I'm Diane and today we are at a very special French supermarket, it's called Grand Frais. We're gonna head inside, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite products and I'll tell you more once we head inside. So let's get out of the car and we'll get going. First, to give you some background, Grand Frais translates to Big Fresh, and that's exactly what this supermarket is all about. A beautiful selection of fresh food across different departments, including produce, a fishmonger, a dairy section, and more, as noted by the colorful signage. There are 248 Grand Frais stores in France and Belgium, and they are all designed to resemble a covered market. What you won't find at Grand Frais are non-food items such as toilet paper or a selection of cleaning products or everyday brands across categories. It's not a one-stop shop grocery store for most people, but is a great place to go for good quality food, a lot of it sourced regionally, in addition to having a variety of international products. Okay, in we go. So something you're going to notice right away at Grand Frais is their produce is absolutely spectacular. You're going to see produce from all over the world, so it's not just from France, it's not just local, and it's a great place to come if you need a special type of fruit or vegetable, maybe for uh, an international recipe. You can find all different kinds of things. It's beautifully displayed, so colorful, brightly lit, and uh, I have to say this is not indicative of regular grocery stores in France. This is just a spectacular selection. And something I always point out is the word bio right here. That means organic and most of the eggs here are all organic and just for a price reference point it looks like a dozen of medium-sized eggs is $3.79 in this particular store. And something that's gotten more popular over the years, although it does create a bit of waste with the plastic, is you'll see packaged, pre-cut, ready-to-go fruits and vegetables. When I first moved to France, you would not see zoodles or anything like this. The, the, uh, the zucchini spaghetti or chopped vegetables if <laughs> you're in a rush uh, or you're not big on cutting your own stuff. This can come in handy, but as I said, you'll see a lot of plastic and more on that in a second when I take you over to the cheese. And there are a lot of nice things for apéro if you're going to have a little party, some people over, maybe not during the time of COVID, but uh, maybe just with your family. A lot of nice options already made, easy to put together. Uh, just pop them in the oven. And then directly to my left, we have all kinds of charcuterie products, uh, all types of cured ham and meat and that sort of thing. There's really no shortage. And it's always nice to see some promotions over here. Let's see what they have this week. So they have different types of jams on sale here. We have a clementine one, a raspberry. We also have some brioche, some orange juice down below. And it looks like these jams are about $2.49 each. When you do your grocery shopping in France, here are three quick tips. One, unless you like crowds, avoid Saturday afternoon shopping at all costs. Stores really tend to be busy with long lines on Saturday afternoon. Two, be sure to bring your own reusable shopping bags because in most cases, free bags are not provided at checkout. If you forget though, you can always buy them. And three, if you plan on using a shopping cart, remember to bring a one euro coin or token that you get from the store directly. You'll need it to unlock the cart and we'll get the coin or token back upon returning it. Also, I've done a bunch of other grocery store content on my channel that I'll link above. So if you like this sort of thing, I'd love for you to check out those other videos. Oh, and I'm on Instagram here if you'd like to follow me. And to switch it up a little bit, there's a nice goat cheese here with uh, dried cranberries on it. And uh, all different kinds of cheeses. Looks like there are a few promos going on. Uh, $16.99 a kilo for something called the Fleur de Lava. Not a cheese I'm familiar with, but as you'll notice, as I said, unfortunately, all of these cheeses are pre-cut 
in plastic packaging and I think Enfre could definitely do better with that regard because this creates a ton of waste. But they have an amazing selection, lots of great cheeses, and uh, they're not crazy expensive. I mean, if you buy a whole kilo, it gets a little expensive, but they do run promos. And just for an example, this Conte right here, this is about 0.154 kilos, and it's 3.23, coming in at 20.99 a kilo. So maybe you'll see some cheeses you're familiar with. Maybe there are ones that are new to you, but uh, they have a really nice cheese selection. And then continuing on with the dairy section, they have all kinds of yogurts. And again, everything tends to be high end. So the prices you're seeing here and the products, they're not indicative of just your everyday supermarket. Just want to stress that <laughs> there are a lot of really nice regional products too, as denoted by the Regional sign here in bright orange. And where we are in uh, the Maine et Loire, so everything is Anjou in, in and around Angers. So that's nice. And you'll also see things that are somewhat local, Normandy, Brittany, not quite too far. And some of my favorite things to sample are the mini desserts. So as you move away from the yogurt, you'll see little pots of tiramisu, mousse au chocolat noir, and egg cream. And I'm going to grab a few of these just with the pandemic. I don't want to be touching everything to show you unless I'm buying it. So I'm going to grab a few of these. See anything good? And you'll see uh, most of these are just small little little single desserts. They tend to be no more than 200, 300 calories each. They're a small portion. They're filling. They're good. Most of them are made from natural ingredients, not overly processed here. And they run for maybe two to four euros for a pack of two. Okay, sticking with the dairy section for a bit, you're gonna see some very specialty butter here. And one of my favorites, well, I mean, they're all my favorites, right? <laughs> Let's be real, my gosh. But something that I get really excited about here are the artisanal butters. Uh, so you'll see one that's actually not far from where I live, the Pompli, which is a really nice one. Um, again, you'll see some bio. Um, and my favorite ones are actually ones that have little salt crystals from Guérande, which is west of me in the Loire en Antique, right on the Atlantic coast. And you'll see here, it has little salt crystals. So there's a little bit of a crunch. It's not over the top, but it's a really nice butter. And that's gonna be 279. Gonna grab one of these. And there's a whole special dedicated section that's for apéro, but fish-based products. And that's what we're looking at here. So if you're familiar with Riette, this one in particular is a salmon with a little bit of dill. There's all kinds of interesting spreads like hummus, tzatziki, and all types of specialty sliced fish, smoked salmon, trout. My husband loves this stuff. This is his favorite aisle. And you'll see, yeah, a lot of really, really nice high end specialty products. Oh man, I want to stop for a second and show you this beautiful cheese. This is a buchette. If you've seen some of my other videos of that buchette, it just means it's in the shape of a log. And this is a beautiful cheese with looks like flowers and honey at 169. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. We did good. All right, let's go home. Shopping is done. All right, thank you so much for watching. That wraps up today's video. Let me know if you enjoy this type of grocery store content, what else you would like to see. And I also have a blog and a newsletter and a shop if you're into merch down below, linked in the description box. So again, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you back here on We in France soon. Salut!